Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Endzone. We've got a bunch of problems to fix. I think they're fixable, but we got a bunch of problems to fix. Now we're in the middle of a drought, and uh, we've, we've got to talk, okay? So first things first, I need more people, all right? I've got a lot of things I need to do, but I simply don't have enough people to do them. The second thing is we have this bit of an epidemic happening right here. Obviously, that's a problem, too. I've queued up seven houses. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh one here. Queued up uh, seven houses to be built in hopes that uh, they'll move out of these settlements. We've got 21 people here and uh, three people here. Wanted to move out of the settlements, get them into here. We have some young adults in here that are still fertile. Let's make families, right? So I'm kind of hoping that that happens soon. We have an adequate supply of water for the drought. I'm not concerned about that. What I am concerned about, though, is two other things. I'm going to be concerned about food. Let's make potatoes in this crop. And we're going to make, uh, let's just say squash is fine in this crop here. Food is going to be a big concern. The other concern is dead people. Now, we have a lot of dead people. And when people die, whether it's from old age or, in my case, probably freaking influenza... Whatever the case is, uh, COVID-19 came into my camp and killed some people, unfortunately. I have to deal with that, and their bodies will lay here. Now, one question I have is, can I have their tools back? I hope that, I'm hoping that that's a thing. I'm hoping people aren't buried with their very valuable tools, but that may be the case, and it's really unfortunate if that happens. Same thing with the neck scarf and the clothing. Can we have the scarf back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, um, we have uh, two more Titians. At least we do now. We have two more Titians. Now, I've got a six people building because I want to get a lot of things built before the growing season starts, which is kind of like now. I was hoping to get the stuff built before the growing season so that the builders could be repurposed. So when we have droughts, I think droughts are a perfect opportunity to gather scrap and to build things when we can. This is power. Solar collector, right? We're going to get this up and running. But that's only going to provide us with power during the day. If we want it during the night, we have to build this very expensive battery. It takes 12 electronics and 12 cloth, 36 scrap, and 16 wood. I think we're going to ignore that, at least initially. We'll only have power during the day. Now, I'm going to focus on solving what I think are the most important problems. Tools make everything more efficient. Anyone with a tool can work like 200% more, like, more effectively. So it's a really big bump to productivity. Electricity, when it provides power to a building, let's say the scrapyard, for example, it boosts productivity by 50% if it's powered. So daytime work efficiency is 100%. If you provide power to it, it's 150%. Nighttime is 50%, but it's 100% if you have power to this building, okay? We're gonna focus on getting uh, power up to things, but not before we take care of survival stuff, okay? Now I have this power pole being built and it's sucking up a lot of electronics and stuff. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cancel these. So we can have the electronics back. Because I'm actually not sure. I don't believe this will matter. These two poles are not in range of each other. So I don't even think that'll work anyway. So let's pull that stuff off. Next, what I want to do is I want to make sure we're getting good production from tools. So there's a couple things that are going to help with that. The first is getting another place to make tools. So let's go ahead and make a workshop. I'm going to put that workshop right here, I think. Right about there. All right, that workshop hopefully gets built next. I'm going to tell them to build that next if they can. Uh, we have a couple of houses that were built, which is nice. And he's building this one now. Those temp, those housing, or that housing right there, those extra four houses, one, two, three, four that were just built. This one's also getting built now too. Those extra, pla those extra houses are hopefully going to bring... Oh, you. Hey, get that done, too. Those extra houses are hopefully going to bring people out of these uh, out of these shelters. You can see this one's empty now. Bring them out of the shelters. Bring them over into this neighborhood, okay? 
then they'll be comfortable enough to make babies. At least, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping they're comfortable enough uh, and confident enough at that point to start families. The sick problem is actually getting solved as I speak, okay? Notice I'm slowing the game down a bit. I'm not going at max speed anymore. It's because I've been making mistakes, and if you're making mistakes and you're playing at max speed, you're just, you know, max speeding those mistakes. So, slow the game down, see if we can fix some problems. The school is nice. That's not what I want to click on. The medical facility. We have 10 medicine in production, which is good. We're using the herbs to make that stuff, right? So hopefully we get that done. But in the meantime, the sick will visit the hospital to get treatment. We only have three sick people left. So that's fantastic. Our epidemic, you can kind of tell, is kind of solved. There's uh, still some icons up. But these are different types of icons. They're like, hey, we don't actually have the materials. I want the tool makers to make scrap tools because I don't have the resources to make enough metal. Not until I get enough people to do it. So we're gonna have clothing people, uh, sorry, tool makers. We're gonna focus on scrap tools for the time being. Now we have recyclers. These can focus on specific products. If I want one big facility that separates all types of products, I need something bigger. I need a refinery. This giant building here is more effective at this. I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna go one off on this, I think, right about here, I think. Yeah, let's go one off the street because I think I'm gonna need that to make power poles. So let's come one off the street, drop this building here. Now this building is capable of simultaneously separating metal, cloth, plastic, or electronics from scrap. That means, I think that means, I don't know this, but given the size of the structure, I think that means that we should be able to take and get all types of resources at the same time with this one. Albeit maybe not as much, or maybe it's slower, I don't know. This one's able to get four cloth from scrap, right? This one is currently getting two plastic. Four cloth. I'm heavy on the cloth because I want to make level two protection. I want, I want activated carbon masks. This takes the same amount of cloths as the next scarves, but it takes two charcoal. It's the same production time as well and it produces the same amount of protection. Two masks instead of two scarves. So really the only difference between this one and this one is the two charcoal for each, one charcoal for each mask, which is fine because this is level two protection. What does level two protection mean? Well, if they have no protection, they won't get sick as long as they're in here. But if they don't have any protection at all, they're gonna start getting sick, getting contaminated when they're in this green area. If they have a neck scarf, they're fine in the green areas. But if we have any yellow areas, they'll start getting contaminated. The, the masks will protect them from the yellow areas and they'll only get contaminated if everything is really high, which I think is pretty rare, but I'm worried about contamination eventually hitting us. So I wanna get that sorted out. I wanna help get the amount of protective clothing we have. I wanna get that solved if I can. So I'm gonna work on that too. Now, right now, the water is back, and I think it's time we get more carriers. I also need to shift people into uh, a bit of a, f oh my God, 36 refiners. All the refinery people could work right here. Dude, that'd be awesome. Uh, scrap people, can you like, I don't know, do things closer? Can you like get things that are closer to you? This building is big, man. Um, build that next if you can. We don't have the metal. Let's shift these to metal. Just temporarily so we can get the metals. We have three electronics in storage as well. And I'm thinking we use those three electronics to maybe get the power pole set up. So it looks like there is where it's highlighted. Yeah, and it actually shows it in the bottom right as well, where it says power grid within range. 
So it looks like I can do it like this. And then the next one would have to be, I guess, with this pole within range. These aren't very, they don't get to be a lot of these poles, man. We need a lot of these poles. We'll lay, we'll lay the one for now, but we need to eventually have that pole kind of run all the way through here. And then this road isn't even fully built. So let's lay that down. We can maybe put a pole right here between these two buildings. I've left gaps between buildings uh, for paths, but also in case we want to put power poles down too. So like, for example, these houses right here, these are back to back, but then this row has a gap because I might need power poles through here. So I'm just leaving gaps like right here, for example. And uh, if you're ever wondering like, why did he, you know, offset this off the path when he was building this is because I might need a power pole in this area. You can't put a power pole on top of something else. So um, sort of a, a way of maybe planning ahead a little bit. This is, that's what I was hoping for anyway. I just don't have any spare settlers. I got growing season going right now and I've got nobody farming the land. Let's get off the building temporarily. Get more farmers in here. Let's go. I need people farming the land. Let's move people. Put your back into it. <laughs> Seriously though, please do. See, they brought everything except the metal because I just don't have any. And now we're low on food. That is an issue, isn't it? I'm going to play faster just for a little bit. I don't want to have this video be all talking and have nothing happening. It also looks like I have one scrap collector that's still going way out here. Like, look at the path. Look at that trip they have to make. It's insane. Like, wait, is that? Oh, can you hear that? It's a Geiger meter. It's that meter that like ticks at you when there's radiation nearby. Yeah, this is a radiated area and that's ticking at me. Interesting. Now, does she have clothing? No, she has no clothing. So she's getting exposure from this, right? She's also hungry, but she is getting exposure while she's here. And then now that she's no longer in the area, I wonder if that exposure dwindles over time. Scrap collector. She's going to be a refiner after she's done being a scrap collector. Now, the refinery, if we can get this built, that would be amazing. I just need the metal to make it happen. I wonder how effective that is. Because if I can replace these buildings with something else, like replace one with a tool maker, replace one with uh, maybe even more charcoal. This one's producing four because it has more workforce. I just don't have more people. I need more people. So bad. Please make children. We have 23 kids. I need more kids. Okay? Even more kids. Put you all the way down that way and then bring the path all the way up to here. I need more children. Please give me your children. Don't let my wife don't don't let my wife hear me say that. Please don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> Uh, she wants more kids. I mean, I'm okay with having another one. I'm not like, I'm not as excited about it as she is. I'm not like thrilled about it as she is, but um, I'm okay with it. And it's one of those situations where it's like, it doesn't, like I don't oppose having another child. And so since I don't oppose it and she really wants it, then okay. It's one of one of those deals. Definitely not a third though, okay? Definitely not a third. I'm. I'm going to be good with two. I just know it. Ask me in 10 years if that's still true. <laughs> Five years. I don't know. Uh, okay. School seven. So out of the 27 children we have, only seven are going to school. I wonder if it has to do with electricity. If we had this connected to power, I wonder if we would be able to teach more people because it only has capacity for one teacher. But it has capacity for 25 students. And I don't know like why we're not getting this filled up. You know, it's only half full, even though we have tons of kids. Maybe there's a certain point where, you know, 
Like when they reach a certain stage in their path to adulthood, they don't need to go to school anymore or something. I don't know. But educated kids, ed educated adults are more productive. Uh, you know what? Build this first instead. Because it's only one metal away from production. There you go. We should get a builder on this now. And then we should be able to start making scrap tools. So hopefully we're getting on that. Our, our tool count now is down to 56. And our protective clothing uh, deficit is only 59 now. So at least we're bringing it down from the, from the high 60s to 59, right? We really need to focus on these two things because they're so essential. This one, I think, is technically more essential because it speeds up everyone making all the other things. But if people are sick from radiation, then they're not working at all. So I, 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 I really, well, I don't know about not working at all, but they're basically not working at all. Any metal bad, man. Can this building get built? Thank you. Let's shift one of these new settlers into being a technician so we get more tools. Uh, I'm also going to up the charcoal we're getting because the charcoal is not only being used for the masks, but it's also being used to help filter our water. And then I think the rest of you are going on farming and water collection. Let's go down to one builder and we'll go into fishing. We just need more of everything, but food is such a big deal right now. It's because this stuff takes a long time to grow. So like we're doing agriculture. We're gonna be low on food for a bit. Things like hunting and fishing sort of supplement the gap in time that it takes for our crops to grow. We just came out of a drought, so we don't have this thing where we're rotating our crops back to back because we had no crops at all for the drought. So it's gonna take us like two seasons to really start getting food again. But once we do get food, it should be a lot of food. This one's 660, this one's 440. So there's a thousand food right here. And that doesn't include this crop or this crop or this one over here or this one or this one or this one, right? So we're going to get food eventually. As long as the farmers can get on it, we should be getting food pretty consistently. We just need more people farming, I think, here. And then we have to worry about things where the crops might be like giving us contaminated food. We may have to worry about that a little bit, too. Let's take pub keeper off, switch to farmer. Let's take the gatherer off, switch to water carrying. I'm going to pull... Let's pull one person off of forestry, put you on farming. We have wet seasons consistently here. This is pretty good. The only downside, though, is that we, since we don't have a weather station, it's possible we won't know it. But one of these rainy seasons may actually be contaminated and that might end up like spilling contamination everywhere on the whole map we want to i mean there's nothing i can do to avoid that right now i just have to hope that we don't run into that situation all right now we're low on water and food we don't have any additional settlers we have 33 children now which is great we really need more people man we're three people away from getting this goal oh man come on Come on, people. Have babies. 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 Come on. Get busy. There are three people away. So close. Let's put a house here. And then... Uh, how many people are living over here? Seven and zero. So we're almost out of the slums. I'm going to call these the slums. I mean, it's a shelter, but... Yeah, it's kind of the slums. It's like, eh, we have a place for you to live, but that's about it, right? So I need babies. Please make babies. We only have two minutes. Come on. Three more people. You can do it. Look at how many adults we have here. Oh, uh, I don't think we're going to get it. They're going to have to pop like all at the same time in order for us to get it. That's going to suck. And we're really low on food now. Oh, I need adults. Let's pull people off tailoring, farming, water carrying, please. Um, let's actually take two charcoal burners, make them fish. Take uh, all the scrap collectors. Let's stop, let's stop scrap collection temporarily to get fishing going. 
Yeah, we're not gonna get it, unfortunately. We just lost another person, too. We're four people away from the goal. Damn. That would have been really nice to get. Aw. Uh, we have a lot of children, too. Some of them are gonna be adults very, very quickly. Uh, let's pull one, only one herbalist, and we'll stick you on water collection, please. So how you guys, what do you guys think of the game so far? Huh? It has a lot of complexity. I'll say that for sure. It definitely has complexity to it. It's got things where they kind of snuck up on me. I do think, though, that it's one of those games, uh, much like Surviving the Aftermath, I think it's going to be one of those games where once you have tool production set up and clothing production set up and you have, like, you know, all the basics and resource gathering all set up and you have a population under control, then it's really going to be a matter of rinse and repeat for expansion, right? So I'm kind of hoping they do, like, all these, like, Ex these 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 events where you go around and you you know can do expeditions to see these types of things i'm really hoping these things like add this dynamic replayability to the game so that you can't just do the same thing over and over again you know it's really it'd be really nice if i could see that happen am i out of builders or what i guess my builder doesn't want to do anything how's my hunters do how are my hunters doing do you actually have anything to hunt I guess you do over here, but I don't know. I feel like your hunting is not that effective. So this is, these are each worth 170 food. Um, how much are fish worth? Production efficiency, 80%. Buildings of the same type in the vicinity of each other reduce the, pr the pr uh, production figure for each building. See, I didn't know that when I placed it. I mean, it makes sense. It's only a 20% hit. And given how close these things are to, like, where they're all used and stuff, I don't think that's a super big deal. Yeah, I can understand the well thing, though, too. That makes sense. Maybe we can put a well out here, even. Maybe we just need another person managing the well. But if we put another well out here, is that going to be a problem? If I even can. Wow, why can't I put a well here? I guess it's because the mountain is there. That makes sense, I guess. We'll put you here, let's say. It's pretty moist, wouldn't you say? <laughs> it's actually very wet, not moist. I just wanted an excuse to say the word moist. <laughs> uh, scrapyard has nobody working at it right now. Yeah, I need to focus on survival 100%. As much as I need scrap, and I do, uh, I need survival stuff even more. 38 kids. We are having population growth. That's certainly happening. It's just taking a while for all these kids to grow up, but they're all gonna pop at about the same time. So at least there's that. Now, I could also upgrade these houses. Um, I'm gonna do this one just to show you it. This is gonna turn it into a sturdy house. Sturdy houses, settlers can live there and start a family. The building has additional capacity to store water and food and can withstand more sandstorms which I haven't seen a sandstorm yet. Um, settlers only move in as families when you're here though. So we have two young adults and two children here, which is really good. I kind of want to get something out like this where there's only two adults in here. Uh, they don't have a children right now. So I'm going to upgrade this building. When you do that, you're going to uh, click the button. You can cancel the upgrade, but what they're going to do is they're going to dismantle the entire house, which kicks the family out by the way. They're going to dismantle the whole house and then they're going to rebuild the upgraded house on top of that spot. So I'll get two builders. You can see what that's going to be like. There's also this cabin, which is now being constructed, thankfully. We're still so low on, like, water and stuff now, too. Our food situation is kind of starting to get under control, right? They're starting to harvest the food now. That's good. But the water situation still needs work. 
Right now, though, I am more focused on... So yeah, see those two people? They moved over here while this house is getting upgraded. Let's get people on water collection, actually. Yeah. And then, you know what? Let's get one person on gathering, I guess. All right, so this is a sturdy house. Notice how the sturdy house has this big tank on the side. It's got a different design. Looks a little bit, you know, a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit more sturdy. <laughs> but it's got this big tank on the side, and that's where they store their water. So whoever lives here, they won't have to travel to get their water and food. They'll be able to store it here. Their kids will bring food and water to the house and store that stuff. Speaking of kids, 42 children. Kick ass. Let's go. Give me people, please. Please. I need people now. Refinery is online. Whoa. Now this is cool. I like this. So what I should do is probably get everybody moving over here to work in this building instead, right? There's 210 scrap here. They just move it from here to here. I probably could have put this right next to the warehouse even. But that might be more efficient than all these individual buildings. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I know all these adults are going right in the refineries though. I'm kicking them into the refineries as soon as I get the water under control. Come on, become adults. Become adults. You are now proud water carriers. To your post. To your post, I say. To your posts. Get in there. Get some water. Come on, Fiona. Today. I like it. We're down to 43 tools lacking. Very good. We're catching up with it. I like it. Uh, we also own yeah, 58 protective clothing. Still need to work on the clothing aspect. I think what I might do is... Um, let's up the refinering here. Refinering. I did it again. Refinering. Um, another well worker. I need more charcoal burners too. I just need more people. Can I just have more people, please? Here. Um, give me another well keeper, and uh, give me one less hunter, and one more charcoal burner. I need to keep that charcoal count up because it's helping us filter water and it's helping us make these masks. And protective clothing is important for our future. We do have a drought coming up, but thankfully it's consistent rain the whole time. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> this is contaminated rain. Ugh. Highly contaminated rain. Oh no. This is what I was afraid of. Make the masks. Make the masks. Please make the masks. Uh! <laughs> this is what I was afraid of, guys. Highly contaminated rain. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, I think we're going to have a big sickness problem on our hands. Thankfully, we popped the children out before that happened because if they get irradiated, they'll be infertile. They won't be able to have children. So thankfully... We got some kids out before that happened. Oh. So now it becomes more important than ever to get people working. Yeah, people are dying, I know. Come on! These kids take forever to become adults, I swear. They're doing it just to spite me. All right, so it looks like we can, yeah, we just get all of these things. Look at the metals we have now. Oh yeah, let's do this. I'm ready. Resources. Um, tailor shop. Put a tailor shop here. Can I fit a tailor shop here? And now I can't fit two structures. I have to do it like this, which is actually okay. Let's do it like that. Tailor shop there. Workshop here. Road here. Yes, I'm aware there's radiation. I am aware. Because it rains radiation. It just rains it down from the 
<laughs> from the evil skies. <laughs> can we have, like... Can someone harvest this now? Oh, wait. No, don't... Well, it's too late. I already told you to harvest. So there's only 90... There's only 90 crop there. Whoops. I actually don't know if the contaminated rain is hurting the food supply. It doesn't look like it is. Medium contaminated rain. Oh, well, that's good. Thanks for the change in pace. Uh, if we if we grow our population, we can get this stuff. Yuck. Refine. Please refine. I need materials refined. We need more tailors, honestly. I think now is a great time to get tailors going. Um, we have 30 metal, 10 electronics. That's really brilliant. Let's maybe focus on getting electricity set up then. I mean, I'm already getting the tailors going as fast as I can, but I think some people are gonna die here and there's not a whole lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, I just didn't act fast enough before. But we started making contaminated masks, or the, the masks. They're not contaminated masks. Here we go. There. And then we want to get that refinery set up so it's even better. So I think we can probably build this here. I think that'll work, but I, I don't know. I can't highlight that. Mm. I wish that we could maybe, like, <clears throat> to improve the game, I, I think what we, could, what we should be able to do is start a line from this post or yeah start a line from this post even before it's built right even before it's built and just keep going and have it be where it won't extend any further than this can reach so it, it gives me the maximum distance already and that way I can make informed decisions to set up the queue to make all these poles I need to connect to this that pole is in and it's connected to all these buildings. So if I can get if I can get a pole maybe here. This is close enough. So getting a pole here looks like it'll work. This power grid within range, but I think it I don't think that's how that works. I think you have to connect these to the pole specifically. I'm not sure why it says grid within range on this. Unless you really don't have to connect it. I don't know. Do we need to connect them to the poles? I'm going to ask the devs that. I mean, I can test it out in this video. If we, if they build this fast enough, I can test it out. But yeah, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just go with what we've got. Okay. We'll see the information as it happens. 12 people contaminated. That means 12 of my colonists are no longer fertile. We still haven't grown an adult population. People are dying as fast as they're coming out, right? Which is impressive, because look at how many kids we've had. Spawn. <laughs> All the kids were spawning, right? Like, come on. I need scrap collectors now, too. We're running out of scrap. Let's get at least one scrap collector. Maybe we can get this population growth. I don't know. Getting the pub back online might be cool too. We are getting children though. We are, you know. But I need more scrap collection happening. Because we're going to run out with all the scrap tools we're making and everything. We're going to run out. Here we go. More tailors. More workshops. All the things. We need all the things. Let me get another technician. Couple more refineries, couple more, uh, one more scrap collector, let's say, and let's get another tailor. Yeah, I know. We've got 83 adults now. It's starting to happen, you know. These kids are growing up so fast. Not fast enough, but they're growing up fast. Let's get them on scrap collection, and one more on water, and another one on water. Yeah, we need to get as much water as we can because it's drought time, man. It's going to happen. We don't want the droughts to happen. We need more foresters too, unfortunately. Because we're also dealing with... 
Change field of work. Um, you're just going to have to do it here. You're just going to have to do it here. I need more foresters because we're, we're running out of wood, which means we can't build things. Also, that means we're going to start running out of charcoal, too. And I can't have that because I need people to actually be making the masks. Scrap tools are being made. We're at least getting people with tools now. Only 37 people without tools. But every time we kick out a new person, look at this. Average radiation of all settlers. That sucks. That contaminated rain thing just kicked my ass so hard. Ugh. That kicked my ass so hard. It's 41 people contaminated now. That's really bun that's really unfortunate, man. Um, water carriers, please. Come on, tend those crops. You got it. Yes, I know they're irradiated food, but we can do it. Um, let's see, what else? I think it's a waiting game right now. This pole is done. So if we lay down this pole. See, it says it's connected to power grid, but like over here it says it too, but there's no power to these buildings. So I, I think it still has to be in range of a pole to work. So I'm gonna lay down another pole there and that will power this building which will make it 150% more efficient. Which hopefully means more cloth, more metal, more plastic, more electronics. Just more of everything, okay? That's what I hope it means, more of everything. Make tailor, get tailors. I need tailors. Screw it, we'll do tailors when the drought comes because we need everybody on water right now. All scrap collectors return to water gathering. Um, we'll pull the... Pull the pub. Pull the teacher. Pull the morticians, too. Get them on water gathering right now. Pull the gatherer. Bring him to water. Gather as much water as we can. The drought is coming. We're going to... This isn't going to be good. I don't think we have enough water here. It says low, but I don't believe you. I see medium everywhere. Drought is coming. Low water reserves. Eek. Eek. I don't know what to do, guys, other than just sit here and hope for the best. We're only missing 42 protective clothing. Now down to 40. Tailors are doing a good job. Man, I should have had this building a long time ago. This building is way better than the others. I feel like this building is way better than the others. And as soon as it hooked up the power, which it's about to be right here. So right now, efficiency is 100% and 150. And when this is built, this will get connected to power now. So it's on the grid, but there's no power currently because it's nighttime. So during the day, this building just became more efficient, which is excellent. So now the question is, where to build the next pole? gonna have to be right here along the road fortunately gonna have to be here I think yep and I don't know where to build the next one but eventually I'm gonna work my way all the way over and connecting to this and then pretty much most of our production buildings after that point are connected unless well I will need to connect all these though too This one, right? There. That'll connect it. And then another one will go... I guess here would work. Yeah. This would probably work. Or over here. This would probably work. I need to be in range of this building, though. So it's going to have to be... Probably like this. It's gonna have to be there. So those two power poles will get built too. 
And then, uh, let's actually pause this one. And, uh, we'll pause this one too until we get this one connected to the grid. So we'll build this hopefully soon. And the drought is beginning and we are so low on water now. Oh my god. How did we not gather enough? We had 30 people on water gathering. We had 30 people on water gathering. How did we not get enough? Holy crap. I think we just starve. I think we're gonna die of thirst. I had 30 people on water gathering. There's 25 in stock on this. Okay, there's 400 something in stock on this. So at least we got some of that. And then the tower has... I'm not sure how much. Not enough though. We got 400 in here. This is 1400 in here. Yeah. Ah, I don't know about that, man. I think we just... I think we die of thirst now. 30 people on water gathering. We didn't even get a thousand. That's insane. We would have some hope if this goal wasn't so unreachable. But we've just had so many people die from sickness. 50 people are, are not in good health. 50 are not in good health. And there's no herbs. Because it's a drought. Shit, I think we're... This might be GG. This might be GG. Because... That rain hitting us... Just screwed everyone. If they're in poor health, they don't work. Like, they don't work well at all. That's probably why. The radiation made them sick... And they gathered water so slowly that they just... Now they have none to drink. At least there's going to be some here. But I think... People are probably going to be dying here. Pretty quick. Can I tell why they're dying? Died from radiation, died from radiation, died from radiation. They're all dying from radiation. The ones that aren't... This is why the number is going down. <laughs> this number is dropping so fast. Not because we're making better protective gear. I think it's dying because the people without it are dying. <laughs> so all that's left are the people that have it. I don't know if that's the case, but... uh, Because it's slightly more comical in nature, I'm going to say that that's probably the reason why. Uh, this will connect to that post. Yeah, it does right there. Cool. And then I might have a problem connecting over here. I might have to come back behind this. But this post will connect all these buildings up. So that's good. They'll all be connected to power. 150 and 100. So much more... Much more better there. Uh, okay. Let's have all these guys who are supposed to be on water collection... Go forth and get me scrap. Go forth and get me scrap now. Uh, we'll have farmers. We'll have hunters. We need to max out hunting. Max out gathering if we can. Max out the charcoal. We actually don't have any foragers either. So, um, or foresters. I mean, we need more forestry. Because we're burning charcoal now, we need more forestry. So, let's get a forester's lodge set up. And, uh... I actually put you over here. There's a lot of stuff to cut down over here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's put you right here. And we'll have you cutting down all these trees. Once we build it. Well, we got health problems abundant. Our population is basically the same as when we started. Despite having so many births, we also had a ton of deaths. I guess it's a good thing we had all those births. <laughs> I mean, look, look at it that way. Um, barely anyone are living in the shelter. 
I think a pretty sizable percentage of the population is now laying on the ground. And uh, without any morticians to deal with it. So let's at least get morticians. That rain really screwed me, man. It hurt me so bad. Now we have people who are thirsty. Scrap people, be repurposed. Come over here and gather water now. On the double, people, on the double. Do that and uh, take you off of this. Go there, there. And technician. No, I need the technician for the tools. Off charcoal burning, go uh, water collection. I need water collection now. I mean, we're starving too. Like we've got food problems and water problems big time. So why don't I leave this video here with a giant cliffhanger where you're not sure whether or not we're gonna survive this or not. I think that sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up, you know? You can uh, you can subscribe if you if you haven't done it already. I'm sure that's uh, on your to-do list thing, right? Should I get like those pop-ups on screen that tell you to, to subscribe? I see people do it all the time. It must be effective, you know? It's gotta be effective. That's why they do it all the time. They wouldn't do it if it wasn't effective, right? I'm gonna have to put this power pole in the middle of the road. You know what? I'll, these are these are like really minor problems compared to the bigger ones that we have. So um, why don't we? Actually, this right here will connect that. I put it here, and then I can put this other one back here. That'll connect it all up. Yep, right there. All right, that's going to be my power system. That connects the whole thing to the grid. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. All that mumbo jumbo. Hopefully, we get enough water production here to where people's lives are saved. I hope, anyway. Take care. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.